What's popping? What's popping, man? Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. And I'm going to spell this word out because I think, uh, you know, if I if I say it, you don't get mounted. I don't know what happens, but C-O-V-I-D. Ever since that thing happened, you know, everything changed, man. The weekend, it just feels like everyone wants to just enjoy <laughs> their weekend. I'm talking about people who... Uh, people who got money, people who don't have money, pe- like people just want to enjoy their time and like, you know, l- life things change, man. You know, you can't you can't compare what was to what's now, you know. And what the majority go do, the majority go do, you know, man. So, but I'm hoping y'all having a good Saturday, man. You know, spend time with your family, whatever you're doing. You know, uh, my people that's at work working the overnight shift. Uh, whatever you're doing, man, delivering food, uh, picking up trash. Like I always say, know what you're doing it for. Don't be out there, out there just, you know, floating. Nah, have a time period when you're supposed to be here and here. That's go. That's go. Keep you motivated. That's go. Keep you okay. I got a time period. You know. Shout out to my nurses, man. We love y'all. Thank y'all for taking care of people. Uh, you know, and thank y'all for doing the things on your job that they don't tell you you can do, you know, like being extra nice, just, just the simple things that can make people, you know, uh, remember you and just make people feel better, you know, and that's to anybody, man. Um, have patience with people. When people be rude to you, don't, don't be so quick to be rude to them back, you know, because it might be a reason they rude. And sometimes when people see you not rude back, bruh, they'll bless you. And sometimes you miss out on your blessings when you too quick to react. And it's it's crazy, man, because it's so much stuff you learn as you keep living life. It's so much stuff that you learn as you keep living. Always be patient, man. You know, always be patient because it might be a blessing that's right there. It might be a test to see how you go react. You know, it might be a test. So today, man, I'm going to tell y'all, I had to be patient. <laughs> I had to use my own advice, man, because, well, first of all, uh, I had a good day today, man. Um, later, you know, after uh, work, I um, I went to this car show and they had like this concert and stuff like that. And I saw a bunch of my uh, old high school uh, classmates and stuff like that. You know, they was coming up to me and, you know, we was having a conversation. I'm like, wow, bro, it's crazy how people watch you and you don't think they watching you. You know, it's crazy, man. So uh, be careful, you know, how you treat people, how you talk to people, because people watch you, man. And you, like I can always say you never know where your blessing will come from. Your blessing could come from anybody, somebody you never talked to in high school, but they still feel connected to you. You know, like shh, I'm telling you, bro, life, life is long. <laughs> life is long, man. You know, the weather is changing. Uh, it's it's another good night, man. It just feels so good. Like it's like perfect. It's like the perfect night, bro. You know, and by by me being on semi retention, bro, it's it's crazy because usually, man, I get a text, hey, I'm out of there. But like I say, since October fourteenth, bro, I've been really being disciplined. And yes, it's it's complicated. You know, it's complicated, but it's supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be that way, you know, and to hold yourself accountable, man, it feels so good, you know, but we're going to get into semen retention and all that. But first of all, man, I want to talk about the guy, um, uh, the monk mode maniac guy, you know, changed his name to travel, travel cheaper. Or something. I don't know. I don't know. But he, but he changed his name, bro. And I had to think about earlier, you know, I had to think about how it was going to come come at this because um i don't have no ill intentions to the guy bro it, uh and he don't understand people are not hating on you bro you you ruined a lot of guys channel just from being high and going on going on rampages and not knowing what you're talking about you know so by you thinking that people gonna let up on you it's not gonna happen bro it's not going to happen. You ruined too many guys' pages, young guys, young guys who growing on YouTube, showing their faults, being honest on YouTube. And you, 
you know, you shitting on them and you thinking that people go forget that. No, bro, that's not how life works. You know, so now you you can't play the victim with these guys. You just can't because you made your bed. So now you have to lie in it. You know, for instance, for instance, you. All your videos are about young black men, black men with families, black men who died. And some videos, some videos you laugh at these guys who died by making the, you know, making a mistake or doing some dumb stuff. But you laughed at it and you you use it for clout and you try to get views off of these hot topics, you know, and at some point, bro, people get tired of that. People don't want to hear gossip. They don't want to hear news. Like academics already did that. I don't know why everybody trying to copy that, copy that style. Even academics having trouble with getting views and stuff now. Like he got to do the most. <laughs> he has to do the most. You know, like that gets old, bro. And attacking, attacking black men and teaching black men something is two different things. You can't come, you you can't come at black men by attacking them. They go, we don't listen to that. When you come in attacking us, calling us certain names and stuff, nigga, as soon as you call the first name, it, it's a rap. All that go out the window, but you're not trying to help. You trying to get clout off gossip and um attacking. That's it. Because you had a bad experience with black dudes and stuff, so you project that on every every story. Every story you look for, let me look for this uh I'm looking for young black guys. Bruh, it's life. Dudes go make mistakes and they go grow from, uh, from them. You're not trying to teach lessons. And it's crazy that you talk about these young black guys who can make crime, these rappers. Everybody know rappers got problems. Everybody know that, bro. But you don't have nothing else to talk about. So that's the easiest target to pick on. You got nobody to challenge you. You... <laughs> You know, you don't talk about the 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 hundreds and hundreds of dirty cops that do things to black men. You don't talk about the hundreds and hundreds of black judges that set certain laws that do things to black men. You don't talk about none of that. You don't talk about none of that. You just talk about the most simple stuff and you call dudes in the South simple. But bro, <laughs> even you said it, Mr. Keep It Simple. You are simple, bro. And I, I say that in the most respectful way. You are simple. You think you're this smart. No, you are not this smart guy. You are a simple guy. You come to YouTube with simple um, um, posts from social media. You even post stuff that's not even true. You just... Because you don't have nothing deep or nothing with substance to talk about. That's why when you was doing good on, you know, social media, you had um, you had certain people join up with you like Life of Hicks, uh, me, you know. But after that, now people can see you for who you are. That's why the views and yeah, we don't care about the views, none of that. But when it comes to you, we care. <laughs> That's why the views don't match yourselves, man, because you have to uphold the image. That's your downfall, bro. You have to uphold an image. And the, pe the people just tired of it, bro. So that's why now the only people you can reach are young guys who haven't lived life yet, who haven't left their mom's house yet, who haven't uh, experienced much of life until... They see videos, you know, like uh, like what I did or what Forever Absolute did, Life of Hicks, you know. Until they see those videos or until you say some dumb stuff and you just, you know, then they come over to my side, they, you know. But that's the only guys you can reach, man, because those guys don't, they can't connect the dots quickly. It takes them time to connect the dots, but they will, you know. But your name is right, bro. You are Mr. Keep It Simple, respectfully. You are simple. <laughs> you know, you don't talk about the dirty politicians. You don't talk about none of that. You just go straight to the ponds. You go straight to the to the guys that were affected by the people that created the ghettos. By the um you go straight to the ghettos, bro. 
All that stuff was planned out for it to be this way. But you don't talk about that. You don't try to help black men. You try to get clout off their mistakes. That's it. That's all you do. And you hide in your little cubby hole. You hide in that little box away from the world. You don't know what's going on in the world because you hide. You hiding. You've been hiding since the pandemic. You've been hiding since the pandemic. Just try to scam people calling yourself a mentor. Last time I checked, bro, a mentor, you can shake their hand. You can see them face to face. You know, you hide, bro. You don't know nothing about life. You know, and I'm saying this respectfully. You know, I'm I'm saying it respectfully. You don't know what's going on in this world. That's why when people tell you stuff, you're like, oh, I, I didn't know that. Of, of course you didn't. All you do is hide from the world, bro. You hide from the world. And we're going to get into it. Hold on. Hold on. My bad, y'all. I had to go get some water. <laughs> I had to go get some water, man. But let's get back to it, bro. Like, my G. And I'm talking to you, bro, directly to you. All you do is post trigger stuff to get the young guys riled up and go against their own people and call people stupid, call people dumb. You know, when we don't see the stuff that they do, you can call anybody dumb behind a computer, but everybody do dumb stuff, especially when they're young. You know, like I say, you're not trying to help these guys out. All you're trying to do is get clout. <clears throat> and, th and then when the clout run out, you go to the next community, the next YouTube community. Like I say, you've been to the Midtown, you've been to the Red Pill, you've been to the, which one, uh, Semi Retention, you've been to all of them. You've been to all of them, the Anti-Red Pill, all of it. And now you're with the Travel Bros because guess what? That's popular now and you don't want to miss out and you don't want to be the last one to the party, you know? And... and and I've been called this, man. I've been called this. And you can't call black men lazy, bro. Just because they haven't figured out a way to keep scamming, don't mean they lazy. You know, don't mean they lazy. See, the difference is you have to keep scamming. They can learn how to not be lazy. You know, they can learn how to become better. You are addicted to scamming you are addicted you want to be lazy you want to be by the beach and man look that's that's a fairy tale life especially now that's a fairy tale life it's a fairy tale life you know you want you would do anything to live that life and you expect the people that you um crucified you expect them to ease up off you it ain't happening bro it's not happening you did so much dirt on this um, on this YouTube platform that you have to reap what you sow virtually. You know, you, you have to. And the numbers show, bro. Like and for any for, for any one of y'all, man, y'all come to YouTube. Don't don't try to keep up with an image, because when you try to keep up with an image, you gonna have to buy subs. And one day your subs go go up and your views go stay low. Then you go have to act act like you're getting money. This man, look, you don't want to you don't want to get older, and uh, keep being keep getting faker. You don't want to be that. You want to keep it real with yourself. You don't want to be on here bashing people and you don't even know them. And when they come to try to check you, you run and you play victim. Nah, bro, you gotta stand on stuff these days. You know, and I'm talking to you, bro. You got to stand on stuff, man. You always just want to hop to group, to group, to group. That's it. That's that's all you in this for. That's why I take nothing you say serious. Now you're going to be infiltrating the people who really take traveling serious, who really been traveling, who really travel, not who traveled. The last time they traveled was before COVID. Bro, you, the last time you traveled was before COVID. You can't tell nobody about traveling no more. You know, since then, everything has changed. You can't tell nobody about traveling anymore. You are not the world class traveler, bro. It's been four years. Come on. Like, think about that. 
You know how much can change in four years these days because of the Internet? You know? So, man, look, <laughs> it's, I would tell you, but nah, it's no coming back for you because your ego, your ego is just too big and too fragile, you know? So do what you do, man. Do what you do. But just know, man, the destruction you did on this YouTube platform, you can never be free, dog. You can never be free. And I, I'll leave you with that. So, man. Enough with that. Enough with that guy. You know, he he made his bed. He got to lay in it. You know, he got to lay in it. But today, bro, we going to talk about um, chasing, man. We talk about chasing women and seam retention. Man, these days it's so important to stop chasing women. And I'm going to be real. I'm going to be all the way real. The only way to stop chasing women, bro, is to go through semen retention. It's really the only way because you're going to notice it's going to be a day you wake up and you be like, wow, I've been chasing these girls who don't even care about me. Think about that. You you giving girls your semen who don't even care about you, you know. And yeah, it's cool. It's cool at first. Yeah, like, you know, but after a while, you're going to start thinking like, dang, can I call this girl uh, during an emergency? If I get locked up, can I call this girl to bail me out? Think about that. Think about that. If I get in a bad accident, can I call this girl to make sure I'm straight in the hospital? Think about that. We wasting time on girls we can't even call if we go to jail. Mm, 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 mm. Think about that, bro. It gets real. It gets real out here. And we wasting, you know, wasting time on girls who who don't even care. And you you, you learn that while you don't seem retention, man. And even though, bruh, even though it's like a complicated thing to do, it's so worth it. I don't care what age you do it on, because if you're younger, if you do it how you want to do it, let's say you want to do 30 days, then you want to get off at 30, you know, that's going to help you when you become older. When you become older, you're not going to be thirsty. See, back to that guy, bruh, the traveler, the traveler, treat cheaper dude, <laughs> You know, see, some dudes just do things so they can go back to their old ways so they can uh, do it. You know, for example, he traveled on Delta's Dime. Now he wants to scam and go back to traveling. But now he want to do it on y'all dime. You know, I'm telling you, bro, like you really have to take this journey for yourself and then you will start seeing things unfold. See, I can tell the guys that's under him or not really on it because if those guys was really on it they they would stop listening to him and be like bro i got this now those guys still under under somebody you know those guys want to be followers when you don't see my attention bro you really become a, a natural leader like over time you like man that don't make sense like you start calling stuff out none of them dudes call stuff out None of them guys that's uh that that calls into his show, none of those guys say anything. They don't they don't question nothing. They don't have an opinion. That's how I know those guys not really on it, you know. And they young, bro, so they haven't really lived yet, you know. But if they was really on semen retention, bro, they would start questioning stuff. They wouldn't care if a nigga blocked them. They wouldn't they wouldn't care. Like just just their whole attitude would naturally come into a leader. That's how I know a lot of them just on that platform for validation and for attention. That's it. That's it, bro. Cause uh being on semen retention, bro, it turned you to a whole beast. Like you not listening to no nigga forever. <laughs> None of them niggas starting their own YouTube channels. None of them niggas saying uh saying anything that's uh they saying what they want to do. I want to do it. Man, when you don't see my attention, you stop talking about what you want to do. You just start doing it. <laughs> it gets real, bro. It gets real. You know, so man, look. Chasing women with it's going to really cost you a lot of time, a lot of opportunity, and it's going to make you frustrated. It's going to keep you frustrated because guess what? Um, a lot of, like I say, 
we love these women. We have nothing against them. There's not no bashing or nothing like that. But a lot of women, you know, they get attention from social media already. They get the attention they want already. Every day. I don't care how she look. They get that attention all day, every day. You know, and you coming in and giving them attention, it don't... It don't set you apart. You just putting yourself right into that box where every other guy is in. You put yourself right in the box, you know, and you don't want to do that. Man, you going to feel so much better when you only deal with girls who want you. Girls who come because when a girl really wants you, you don't have to work for it. Like I told you all last time, if you have to if you have to work for her, she don't really like you. She don't really like you. If she really likes you, man, all you got to do is present yourself <laughs> you know so look man I, like i say i want y'all to give senior retention a try it's going to be complicated because you're so used to so you're so used to doing things you're so used to a pattern and it's going to kick you out of that pattern you know and like i say bro uh it's easier when you have a group of friends, like when y'all all y'all on the same page and like you um motivate each other to stay on semen retention and stuff like that. So um if you have to do that, do that, man. You have to do that, do that. But it's very important because <clears throat> let's get a little deeper. When we, you know, middle school, just going to high school, naturally we all are good dudes. We all start off being good guys we all start off buying gifts we all start off just a good guy you know when we young young like in middle school just getting into high school no we all start off like that guy but we let <laughs> we let one girl turn us into a dog you know we let her turn to us to into a dog we just say forget love she did this to me now nah, every girl must pay that's what we do. And we go our whole life just smashing and dashing. And it's crazy. This coming from me because, bro, <laughs> I am a sex machine. You know, I was a, before October uh, 14th. I was a sex machine my whole, uh, what, since 16 years old, since 15, 16 years old. You know, and you start to look at it like, wow. We really let that one thing change us and it turned us into dogs. You know, see, <clears throat> people try to make being a dog cool. But as you get older, as you get older, you want to become the best version of yourself. So I don't care if you still talk to two, three, four girls, but you don't want to be out here lying. You don't want to be out here chasing See, most guys, they don't talk about that part. Most guys have to chase to get what they want. It doesn't just come to them. You know, you want to reach the point in life where women come to you, opportunities come to you, friends come to you, all of that. that that's the point you want to reach in life. You don't want to keep chasing something, chasing, um, chasing people. You don't want to keep chasing people. That's why I say when you start focusing on yourself, you start um, eliminating things that have control over you. Man, sex had control. Of, sex has had control over me my whole life, and I can admit that. You know, right now it's what ten, eleven. Right now, I'll be chasing some vagina. You know, I'll be doing that, and that's why I have the energy now to do these podcasts every day because. I'm no longer doing that. <laughs> you know, even though you have flashbacks, sometimes you like, look, I got to stay the course, man. Because it comes a time in your life, man, where you have to kill the old you. Damn. It comes a time in every man's life when he has to kill the old you. So for my young guys, you don't have if you, if you ever decide to go on seam retention, you don't have to do it for three, five years if you don't want to, you know, but if you want to, cool. But you just want to do it so when you get older, you don't let sex have control over you. See, when sex have control over you, bruh, it has you doing crazy things for it. It has you um, putting putting the things you love on the side for it. You bow down to it. 
in this life as a man, bro, you don't you don't want anything to have control over you. So anything that has control over you, you have to figure out how you want to conquer it. You have to figure that out, man. Or you go forever be a slave to it. You go forever be a slave to sex. Damn, I might name that the title. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Good Jesus. <laughs> You will forever be a slave to sex, man. And you don't want to live life that way. I'm only 32 and I don't want to live life that way. I don't want to be a slave to sex. I want to I want to figure out some deeper um, mental things that uh, about myself. Like I want to unlock uh, new versions of myself. I don't want to just be a slave to sex. You know, because that's a bad way to go out, man. That's a it, it's it's a bad way to be, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all some. I'm gonna tell y'all some embarrassing stuff. I'm gonna tell y'all some embarrassing stuff. See, in life, and it's real. Like I'm gonna be real. Uh, when I was living in uh, Georgia for a period of time, see, in your life, you have your, you have the phase where you, you know, you just get girls, get girls off your mouthpiece and stuff like that. But times change. Then you see, oh, you can get girls just by giving them money. Bro, it was a phase in my life. Like, I'm going to say like probably like a two, three year phase. And uh, I went through a phase where I didn't even want to talk to girls. I just wanted to just get them money and tell them, do what you do. That's it. That That's all. That's all I wanted to do is tell them. And it was times where I wanted to like stop living that kind of life because... I'm not naturally that guy. I'm like a natural, like my words and stuff like that. The words I say to women, like that's, that's been me since like middle school. So it was, it was some nights, nice, bro. I didn't want to do that. I used to be like, God, please don't let this chick text me back and say, come, uh, come to a house. Like I used to tell myself that, like, please don't let, cause I knew if she said come to a house, I was going to go just a slave to sex man like a slave to it and a point in your life bro you you really want to reach that point where you're not a slave to sex like you you really want to reach that point where you can be a master over that because once you once you become a master over that bro and you could uh have conversations with a woman and sex not be in control of you bro you can unlock a version of her that she never knew Cause it's not that many guys that has mastered, that has um overcome the slavery of sex. A lot of guys haven't reached that stage yet. I don't care how old they is, even even guys who older than thirty five. A lot of guys haven't reached that stage in their life yet. So you be that man, and don't be a man. Don't become this guy and say, "Oh man, this not the guy we want." Look, be the man that you want to be. That's it. Because a lot of stuff you see on the internet is all fake. People act like they want to be player. Girls act like they love. Um, they act like they love to be out outside and stuff like that. Man, <laughs> trust me. A lot of people are lonely. <laughs> a lot of people are lonely. But that's why I say, see, a lot of these girls, they want to be outside, man. And a lot of you guys are chasing girls like that. She got a whole roster, bro. Most of these girls got 10 dudes in rotation. In rotation. Then they cut them off. They go through their little phase where they don't want to talk to nobody. Then it's 10 more. These girls have a rotation. And y'all, you know, y'all chasing them. Y'all in the inbox. Hey, beautiful. Y'all. Okay. What can I say? Man, look. The days of doing that is over. It's over. You gonna always be frustrated when you going back and forth and texting them because guess what? When they really like you, there ain't no texting. They want to pull up. They want to pull up. So you have to be so involved in your life to where you don't even have time to be texting them and stuff like that. Because when they see you out in public, they go pull up. Man, I went to a, um, I went to the little event today. I get back, like, in my car, I kid you not, right before my podcast, uh, a girl say, oh, I saw you. I'm like, what? <laughs> I saw her too, but I just act like I didn't see her. 
you know. And I said, oh, man, I was drunk as hell, but I wasn't even drinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's crazy. You know, when you when you on this, you just be in your world, bro. Like, you don't care if you get a girl number or not. But it's best when they just come up to you and start talking to you, bro. That, that's how you want it. That's how you want it. You know, like I said earlier, we chasing girls. It, that's not going to look out for us if we go to jail. She's not going to try to bond you out. You can't call her when you go to jail. You got to think about that. You know, and I'm telling y'all all this stuff because this is what I had to think about. I had to think about who I'm giving my CV to. Man, and no offense, like I say, man, shout out to my baby moms. Like, she a good mother. You know, she a good mother to my daughter, all that. You know, I respect. But... It was my fault for um, for even being with her, bro, because I was chasing and I ended up with a woman that didn't really know me or uh, care, you know, didn't really care because guess what? All she did, she just wanted a man who would go pay the bills. It, it could have been any man, any man that showed, you know, um, she she beautiful, all that, but it could have been any man. Who showed that attention that she liked, you know, and now all this coming uh, together in my head, it makes sense. So I'm not going to I'm not getting all similar attention no time soon. You know, I have. And the best thing about it is I have memories that can last me. <laughs> and I love the possibility of running into girls that got my back. If I go to jail, oh, you got my back. If I get in this car accident, oh, you go, you know, cool. You could have three, four girls that's just like that. Nobody say you have to have one, but you got to be honest. You got to be an honest dude. You can't be out here lying. You can't be out here uh, telling her a lie, then coming back later, and then try to tell her the truth. Nah, you got to be real. Being honest will save you a whole lot of time. But chasing women, bro, it's going to keep you frustrated, especially these days. These girls got dudes chasing them from the time they wake up to the time they go to sleep. You, you don't even want to be like that. You don't even want to put yourself in that same box with these dudes. You want to have, you want to save all that attention for yourself. When you save that attention for yourself, bro, it's going to feel so much better. It's going to feel so much better because guess what? They going to start seeing you put their attention into yourself and they going to want to be a part of that. Ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? And man, you could reach a certain level and when they want to give it to you, look, you tell them, no, like, look, I'm I'm trying to become better. I, I was a slave to sex and and you don't do it to run game like you like you be real because most of us are or we was slave to sex, bro. We can't even we can't even lie. We can't even lie. Slave to that shit. But once you get in your mind that you want to do better and you, you want to stop chasing women it make it easier. Because most of the girls that you get, you got to chase them anyway. So imagine when you stop chasing them, it may seem retention easy. And then you can always tell yourself, oh, I'm not chasing you. Seem retention. Another day. Another day adds on. Another day adds on. You know. Now, if a girl just jump on you, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, bro. I don't know what to tell you because, yeah, it's going to be times when you tell them no and they, I, I said this yesterday, <laughs> when you tell girls no, no, don't mean no. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> but that's a topic for another day, you know, but we, we must stop chasing, bro. Chasing is what's making you mad at women chasing is what's keeping you frustrated and like forget all these you know b words <laughs> i can't curse and shit but you know it's gonna keep you mad but when you stop chasing you're gonna be like oh okay this is life then you're gonna start saying girls come and talk to you and stuff like that you know and girls want to keep talking to you oh girls want to be your friend bro i'm telling you i'm telling you that's that's how it works the thing you must do is mm, stop chasing women. That's it. Don't 
don't be a slave to sex. You know, don't be a slave to sex, man, because it's it takes a toll on you. First, you a slave to sex, then you a slave to these dating apps. That's, you know, just quick microwave stuff. And I don't care how much vagina you get, bro. Like I say, it don't make you happy. It don't make you feel whole. It 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 doesn't. Until you know who you are as a man, then, you know, get getting uh getting a lot of vagina, you know, it doesn't it doesn't affect you because you, you know who you are as a man and you're not just out here lying and capping to get girls and stuff like that. You know, but the chasing days are over, bro. The long texting back and forth. Man, stop texting them back. Because, look, once a, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all some real shit that y'all probably don't think about. Once a girl knows she got your attention, that, that's all she needed. So why you think a lot of girls be ghosting y'all? You know, she used to ghost me sometimes, you know, because you can't be 100 percent, 100 for 100, you know. Because once you give them that attention they want, once you ask them, oh, so when can I see you? Oh, that's all they needed. Now they feel like they somebody. Now they feel, yeah, you know, that's how it is. Now, if you plan on going overseas, hey, go there, go to their world. Trust me. And that's another thing about that travel cheaper guy. He always tell y'all the good things about traveling, the the rainbows. and But. It's a whole nother side to that world that you don't even know about. It's a whole dark world to that world that you don't know about. It's not just rainbows. It's not just rainbows. Nothing is like that. So when you even when you travel, study both sides. Study the good side of um of another country and study the bad stuff because you get over there, you get in some trouble, you go to jail. Let's see how beautiful it is over there. Then another pandemic happened and you stuck over there. Let's see how beautiful it is then. You know, so do your research, man. Don't don't just get caught up in the hype because guys want to get views. Guys want to become this this traveling guru God. You know, they'll tell you anything on this Internet. They'll tell you anything. You know. Don't be a slave to sex. Don't be a slave to YouTubers. You know, have your own mind, bro. Have your own mind. Question stuff. I don't care if nobody get mad at you. If if that question is in your head, ask it. I don't care if somebody get mad at you. Ask that question. You know? But yeah, bro. Semen retention, man. I don't care how long you do it because I'm not guarding your wood, pause. I'm not guarding none of that. I'm just saying, semen retention is the root for everything. It's the root, man. I started October 14th and it feels amazing. I wake up, you know, I wake up with so much energy. I wake up with so many ideas. When I have problems, okay, I say, okay, how can I solve this? That's the first thing I tell myself. You know, that's the first thing I tell myself. I'm more like I'm more calm. It's man. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. And like I say, as a man, you got to challenge yourself in this life. You have to challenge yourself. You you got to remember. And I'm going to leave you all with this. You want to keep evolving in life. You want to keep evolving. You want to keep challenging yourself. And semen retention, it's going to challenge you. It's going to challenge you. You ain't going to be able to watch that anime porn. <laughs> you know, you ain't going to be able to watch that lesbian porn no more. You know, and that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. You know, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to show you sides of yourself that you've never seen before. On this journey, bro, I'm, I'm seeing things about myself that, you know, I, I haven't seen. I'm noticing things about myself that I can overcome, you know, while on this journey. And I'm going to stay on it for for a minute. You know, I'm going to stay on it, man, because I don't want to be a slave to sex my whole life. I don't want to be, I don't want to move because the vagina say move. Nah, I don't want to do that. 
I want to be able to talk to a girl and just talk. You know, now that's a whole nother level. That's a whole nother level where you want to talk because you want to talk, not because you you trying to get out of her and you um you acting like you want to talk. It's a difference. You know, it's a difference. But to the um to the traveling guy, bro, the tra- traveler cheaper, whatever the f- what the fuck that shit is, bro. <laughs> The nigga probably got high just and I don't wanna make no jokes because like I'm not even trying to pick at the dude. Like I'm really just being serious. You know. You can't tell people about traveling, bro, and you haven't traveled in four years. You can't tell men that they are local and I met girls from Australia, from Britain, from um from all over and they want to move here. They want to live here. You you can't call America local, my G. You can't call this land local. You just do that because you want to make men feel insecure about being in America. Nah. Who <laughs> who are you to call somewhere local, bro? When you trying to earn money from here to live there, nah. We ain't falling for it. Yeah, you can fool those those young guys for a period of time until the dots start adding up, until things start adding up. But people people have figured you out, bro. They have figured you out. That's why your views going down. That's why you have to do the most to get the attention. That's why you have to attack people that you knew nothing about. You know, you get high and you attack. That's it. Well, those days are over. Y'all have a good night.